Grilled mochi with bean paste. So good. So good. Bom, bom. So good. I don't know. Bom, bom, bom. Oh, it's usually more crowded than this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This isn't as bad. <laughs> Everyone's on the train going to Kamioka. Kamioka, yeah. Just finished looking at some bamboo sprouts. Bamboos in Arshema. I liked it. It's quite a peaceful experience. It there were less people. I don't know, I can't help but to think, like imagine what it would be like without all the people, to be honest. Yeah, probably more like the place we just went to now. Yeah. You can hear more of nature. You can right hear now. the bamboos whispering, mm -hmm. like where all the people are, you can barely hear the bamboos going on. Yeah. So, yeah, the view is also pretty. The sky. The sky, like where the light, the blue is peeping in through the bamboos, bamboo leaves. That was really pretty. So now that we're finished with the bamboo forest, we're actually going to go on a train that was recommended to us. So the first night in Osaka, we went to a okonomiyaki shop called Chitose, which was really, really good. Mostly run by two people, Takesan and Naosan. They introduced music bar groovy to us which is owned by a music composer he's a music composer he's a music composer and he loves Jamaica he loves reggae and he's been going back and forth between Jamaica and Japan he's been composing music in Japan and having instrumentals being made in Jamaica a super cool person um, we went to their bar last night and they introduced us to the truckle train thingy which is like this nice long train scenic train right sailing train scenic scenic <laughs> yeah you know like a train where you, you sort of hang from the ceiling instead of actually Ce scenic train taking a seat scenic train where we can see a little bit of the autumn leaves that's going on right now some rivers some nice views so i'm excited for that we were lucky to get a seat ticket so very excited Oh, we're crossing. Oh no. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing for the rest of the evening. Enjoy the rest of the video. We're at the Kuroko Kameoka station. We got the tickets. We're at seat number 15. See you.
So this trip to Osaka and Kyoto was actually inspired by an episode from a Netflix series called Chef's Table Pizza, which we watched on the plane on our way to Ishigaki Island last summer. We saw the episode two days after its release and seeing how amazing the concept, values and the food looks, we had to come and see for ourselves. We were pretty sure that the restaurant would be booked and busy after the series, so as soon as we landed, we made a reservation for two. This is Monk. Since we've both visited Kyoto a couple of times in the past, instead of hopping across multiple hotspots and squeezing everything into one day, we decided on one specific area and to enjoy the beauty of it using the full day. For our last full day here, we chose Uji, the hometown of green tea. We spent the day tea shop hopping and scavenging little to big shrines in the town. After a long stroll visiting shrines and tea shops, we ended our day here. I've always admired the art of sado and wanted to learn for myself how to make delicious matcha. Takumi no Yakata is a place for training and learning about all things uji tea, established by the Chamber of Kyoto Prefecture Tea. It was the perfect experience after visiting all those tea shops. Did you know that you can eat these green tea leaves? 